I told you guys, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Lily Wambia, we are not playing today. We did not come to play. And of course, Thursdays are all about hip hop. And we're just all about uh, hip hop and throwbacks. throwbacks. Yes. Yeah. Throwbacks and hip hop. Throwbacks and hip hop. Uh -huh. Of course. You hang out with me, your favorite presenters, Lucky Idol. My name is P H Y L I N E J E A N. Feeling Jin. Hang out with the beat doctor, DJ Epic. Yani Epic the DJ. Okay, Panda Unazam, which are Dakitare. Wama Santuri na Kwambia. Love to Kona Omusani. To Kona Omusani. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm a panda and beggar. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have a singer, rapper, songwriter, performing and recording artist all the way from Nigeria, and he goes by Lolly B. Can we give it up for Lolly B one time? That's what's up. Yeah, How are you doing? One. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good to have you. Still. Hmm? I'm calm still. Oh, you're still calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm good. I'm good. Right. You're from Nigeria, but you're currently in Kenya. How long have you been in Kenya? And uh, because I've seen best of your music, I've heard you speak a little bit of Swahili here and there. So <laughs> it doesn't sound like a newcomer. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, really. It's because uh, I used to have a lot of Kenyan friends in Malaysia when we were studying in Malaysia. Oh, that's why. Yeah. That's why. So, Kiswahili, you, that's why you know a little, a little bit of Swahili. Yeah. yeah. So, I love that. All right. One thing my Niger friends complain about when they come to 254 is the food. They're like, you guys don't know how to make good jollof. <laughs> I do not know. Have you had the same experience or how you love in Kenyan food so far? Uh, for me, I love experiences, new experiences. So, mm. I love to explore. You can try to merge your culture with someone else's culture. It is a culture for a reason. I'm telling you. So By the way, I had a lot to say about Kenyan <laughs> Jalof. Like, no, me, 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 I'm a fan of chapati. Chapati has always chapati. been Chapati? Yeah. yeah. No. It has always been my favorite meal. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you have chapati in Nigeria? No. No, right? No. Yeah, I see. They find it so... It's different. <laughs> and, and you guys have fufu and our ugali is a bit uh, tougher compared uh, to... That, that's where I keep having problems. Yeah. The fufu and ugali. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are getting it twisted. <laughs> the only thing in Nigeria you can compare to ugali is gari. Yeah. Uh, we call it a bar. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing you can call because it's strong like that. Yeah, <laughs> but, but ugali is And we don't, use, uh, we don't eat ours with egg sauce. Mm -hmm. What do you eat yours with? We soup. And you guys, the, the way you make soup is so different. Yeah, we have like, different types. You know, of, uh, the way you guys soup. cook, we literally call it here mashakura. Because <laughs> I'm not even playing. Because you guys will take eggs and cook with fish, and you'll cook with uh, beef, and you mix it all together. And we never do that. You do it, you do it here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Fish na nyama, chakula mod, it's trouble. Yeah, you know, you, you but take, you make it work. That, seriously, you should take out. Um, I, like this December, I did a cookout with Chef Ali, Alejandro. Uh, yeah. 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 So I made um, um, noodles with chicken mm -hmm. and an omelette by the side. Yeah. And then I made another noodles with beef. Yeah. And For Nala like, noodles. It was awesome. Okay. <laughs> we did not see that. <laughs> but you also love to cook. What's your favorite meal to make? Uh, for me, it depends. Mm -hmm. But I always love anything that has high protein. I just love making it like chicken breast or beef. Right. Onyama Choma. Onyama Choma. You even mentioned it in your song. <laughs> yeah. That was so slick. But it was yeah. Onyama Choma. And that was like, ah, there's that's a tag, so there's that's a tag From Nairobi to Kenya to Nigeria. What's that tagline? Uh, Nigeria to Kenya. It's east side uh -huh. Nairobi chilling with Kenyan jailers. Yeah, yeah. you hear that? That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm that, repping. That's amazing. Yes. I, I will forever rep Omoja east side. I told you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you I started a fire. You. You I'm telling you. So <laughs> on this show, it's just that these are, the year is still a bit fresh, but yeah. we usually have a segment on this show on a day like this every Thursday. We call it our speed off. Speed off. So we usually have two rappers come through. So oh. it's always east side versus west side. I'm always repping east side his team west side <laughs> so now that you said umoja <laughs> that's awesome nah, umoja peter she took me as family so uh, yeah it's been a blessing working with milashi yeah and and he's a part of your ep which we'll talk about in a few but yeah. first let's take it back a little bit let's talk about your background in music when yeah. did all this begin because you do uh drill and at the same time you also incorporate a little bit of afro bits afro fusion right there so tell us about uh, I, I've been writing songs for 
some artists in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes I write for record labels and producers. Mm -hmm. So I've always been camera shy and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Last year I'm just going <laughs> to try to <laughs> do my own thing and yeah. bring it out yeah. and show people that I can actually serve them a buffet. Mm -hmm. So what I served in my EP is a buffet, a different sound, different genre, mm -hmm. to tell them I can do it all. Oh, right. I love that. And also, but... um. Bef oh, okay. Another thing you spoke about is the fact that your music is inspired by your own challenges, the ones you've experienced, and pain. You spoke about that. But I don't know if you're comfortable enough to talk about that, but maybe just in a few words. Tell us mm -hmm. maybe some of those challenges you spoke about. Um, at a point in time, uh, okay. you know, being a Nigerian comes with a whole lot of difficulties. Like, you get stereotyped instantly, mm -hmm. and you get to do with the stereotype. So the only way I could deal with the whole stereotype and then when you go to Malaysia now you deal with racism and stereotype at the same time. Mm. But at the same time, for someone like me, I always find a way to voice it out, whether through music or acting, so I don't keep it down. Yeah. Uh, you hate me, it's okay. I'm cool with it. <laughs> like, for me, I'm comfortable. I'm used to it now. Yeah. So it doesn't face me however you feel about me or my country. Right. But regardless, my country is still doing their thing, like musically, mm -hmm. box, boxing-wise, UFC. Yeah. So there are still good ones trying to do Even good in things football, out there. Yeah. They're still representing as well, mm -hmm. right? So the hatred is just people, just jealousy. Yeah. You think so? Because <laughs> uh, everyone is always like, yo, I go for Nigeria. Like, Nigerians are bad news. Everywhere you go, like, Nigeria, this, Nigeria. Like, uh, there's a lot of. That's the same thing they say in Malaysia. And yeah. yet, all the whole girls still rush after the Nigerian boys. Here in Kenya, most Kenyan <laughs> men are not trying to <laughs> act like Nigerians so they will be accepted. So that women will like them. <laughs> yeah, but most of the time we're just being us. The yeah. only thing that Nigerians <laughs> hold on to is not care, giving a fuck. That's yeah. what it is. Okay, 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 We just don't care, but we do our things. Yeah. Right. All right, now, um, because of time, I want to talk about your EP. It just came out, and your EP uh, is sort of v -Lane. Who's the villain? <laughs> who's the villain in this story? Are you the villain of your own story? Or who's the villain? Are they the fans, the critics? Who, who, who's the villain? Nah, for me, uh, I have a song there called The Villain. Mm -hmm. um, is you, everybody, I'm, I was speaking for myself, but mm -hmm. I feel like everybody can relate, whereby you're that good guy, you keep doing good, and then people keep making you feel shitty for doing good. Right. And then you're like, you know what? I'm no longer the victim, I'm the villain. You are now the villain. <laughs> yeah, like... You crossed over. Like, mm -hmm. any energy you give me, I'll mm -hmm. give it to you back. Right, so you reciprocate. If, if someone gives you good energy, you'll give... A hundred percent. If it's bad, you're gonna... Yeah, hey, I'm All just right. gonna ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Right, another thing I want to talk about is the artwork. <laughs> hey, there's a song called Weird off the EP, but before we talk about it, the, the, the artwork was really creepy though. <laughs> Can you talk to us about that? Uh, I don't think we have it, but you, okay, it's, you, on the, it's on the song, yeah. You can't call it, you, you can call your, your EP weird if the art doesn't match it. You just see the EP? Yes, I did. You, you, you saw the actual I'm seen, talking about? Yes, definitely. Yeah, that this was is a, my guy. I've seen everything. <laughs> that, that was a 3D art. Um, uh, only because um, I like um, creative artworks like Aliens. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to try and put it there and pu put my girls in it and see how it looks. <laughs> and because I'm... Like I said, I'm being considered weird because of where I came from. Right. And traveling around the world uh, gave me a whole wide exposure. So I feel like me being that weird mm -hmm. uh, put me like 10,000 steps ahead of a lot of people. Oh. So that's why I said, let me accept what I'm being called. I'm weird. I'm you're cool weird, so you accept being a weirdo. Yeah. You accept being a weirdo. And, and he loves aliens. Yes. Do you know aliens what wanted the other day? Yeah, I have them. <laughs> you have that. He has an alien you tattoo. You have that. But he actually but wait. He oh, actually he has, has an alien, alien tattoo. tattoo. And yes. this uh, is the alien inspiration. Like if you take the back, uh -huh. it has half alien and half me. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys, I'm not even lying. See, bouncers, did you come up with Leona? There was some alien. Okay, 
They, it, it was in Miami, right? Uh -huh. You guys saw in Miami, they, they, they were like over... For New Year's. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Almost a yeah. hundred. And they're trying to cover it up. Yeah. Almost a hundred cop cars. I've never seen those so many cops. Wow, I've never. <laughs> anyway. location, and yeah, they say it's just people fighting. And those are like, like four people fighting. They're like, no. <laughs> so they were like, and guys who are there, they said, people. it was in a mall. People coming from a mall, they said they saw aliens. They were like giants. They were yeah. like... 10 feet tall beings. But then a couple of them. But then, would you take a video? Yes. You know I, mean, I, I would take you a video. Take a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need an evidence. But, yeah, we need evidence. There is no way. But the, the video they showed, it was not clear. It was just like, like you know. Like usual. Like yeah. every conspiracy. But then, yeah. it actually makes sense because there were like uh, almost a hundred uh, cop vehicles. In those cop vehicles, it's not like one cop. Let's say like there are four of them. And they're all armed, and there was a uh, like uh, there was a patrol. The, the police also had the chopper. The, yeah. There was also in the air. So why will they bring a chopper for people who are fighting? And then they cut off electricity. <laughs> Thirty percent of Miami did not even have electricity. Guys were like, okay, those were aliens. Yeah, they need to, they need to come clear. People who saw <laughs> they them, they need to come they, clear. Yeah, they need to come. The people clear. who saw them, they say they didn't have feet though. They were like those people. Those things were just like moving, but without feet, it was weird. And he said he likes aliens, so your people are here. <laughs> I'm just, anyway, anyway, that is off topic. If you didn't know the story, you can just go search about it. Definitely. I think everybody has done a story about it uh, right about now. And uh, speaking of your EP, the one that just came out, you have, uh, you have featured some Kenyan artists. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Uh, how did you guys link up, first of all? Um, I came to Kenya um, January, around January 8th, mm -hmm. so I wasn't that productive linking up with people or socializing. So mm -hmm. um, when I went back to Nigeria and I was like Kenyan Drew artist, mm -hmm. and then what I saw was uh, Milashi's mm -hmm. uh, music, Cha Cha Slide uh, featuring Mr. Mr. Wright right. from Brooklyn Boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I texted the cinematographer for it, and mm -hmm. he linked me up with Milashi. Ah. And we clicked, we became more like family, and then we worked on the song. And then My Heart featuring Slim. Mm. Uh, Slim. Yeah, Slim, yeah, it's Slim, actually. Yeah, um, someone just brought him to my house. They were like, yo, Lolly, you need to do a song with this guy. He's good. His name is Slim. <laughs> Me, I was like, I don't want to work with him. But I just want to stay on my own. Yeah. And then when the nigga started rapping, I was like, yo. He's got it. He's good. Yeah. But I feel like he can do way more mm -hmm. singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I told him, bro, can you try sing? He said yes, and then I played the instrumental. He he sang. I was you like, played the instrumental. Yeah, yeah. So you play. Okay. Wow. Okay. I right. like. Let's finish. This <laughs> part. I like you. You can sing. Let's hit the studio, and that's how we made it happen. And that's why the song is the last song. Oh, nice. So, how many instruments do you play now that you've mentioned that? <laughs> <laughs> how many musical instruments do you play? I, I only play one. Mm -hmm. Piano. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> just piano. Right. I'm so good at guessing. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, someone would say guitar, but I, I guessed piano. Now, let's talk about uh, the EP, though. What is the whole story influenced by? Like we said, it's a, a little bit of everything here and there, but mainly, what is the theme of the EP? Uh, is Let's just say the EP is just a way of me being petty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just summarized uh, my life because my whole life is being like I'm being bullied for most of my life mm -hmm. and whereby relationship, family. Mm -hmm. So I always try to touch the relationship part and then family in general, you know, mm -hmm. like you Kenyans, when you guys come back from abroad, um, your family treat you nice. Not everybody expect a whole lot of things from you yeah but for us nigerians when you go abroad whether you go to study a friend of mine mm. who we um we did high school with, he texted me he said lolly i hope you're not gonna come back with a degree certificate saying oh i went to school i'm like what do you mean bro your mates are coming back with range rovers and g wagons what are you doing <laughs> so now you're coming back you're dealing with friends that you know way back then expecting you to do way much 
and now family cousins all of them are mm -hmm. on your net yo what did you bring back and none of them ever checked up on you since you when were you outside are away. Yeah. exactly so uh, i had to put all of that in a song that's why i was like i told my mom was like no you stay you just came back to nigeria after how many years uh you stay i was like nope booked my flight, came to Kenya. <laughs> I, like, I prefer to chill with my homies I know from Kenya right. than to Instead chill with people I don't, I barely know half of my life in Nigeria. I know, right? That is, yeah. I, I feel like that is so weird. Like you expect someone, like someone is studying, even if they are working, it, they sh it should come from them, like yeah. from their from their heart. They're like, oh, I was, I, I got you this. Yeah. Like, oh, you shouldn't be picky, like, oh, you should buy me a just walk on. Really? <laughs> Do they know how much you want? Going? No, back home you don't have any excuse. Uh, seventeen year old is driving a G L K. What excuse do you have? Seventeen year old, eh? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. must uh -huh. be nice. Yes. Must so be. the yeah, pressure <laughs> back home is. Is I loved. Yeah. yeah. You know, in my other life, I want to be an Nigerian. <laughs> anyway. Be careful what anyway. you wish. For. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I take it back. <laughs> 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 All right, I take it back. It is, uh, it is amazing, by the way, what you have been able to do in such a short period. How long was the AP in the making? Um, it took me. It didn't take me a couple of months. Yeah. But like, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. took me. They just said a year. Just a year. Because people have years. It, it, takes it takes years. Yeah, that people take people. time. Especially if you're moving from one country to another country that you're not so familiar with. Mm. I think you did pretty well. All right, so when are the, you know, the videos dropping? Um, while I was in Mombasa, mm. that's why I keep on telling people mm. I didn't go for vacation, but most of my friends don't believe that. Mm. Uh, I had uh, the opportunity to shoot with Chef Ali mm -hmm. for Nala Noodles and Cook. Mm -hmm. uh, studio or whatever, and then um, I was opportunity to shoot two music videos mm -hmm. in a day. Mm -hmm. uh, Ama Mefile and Man Like Lolly. What does right. Ama Mafule mean? Uh, it is my son name. It means ah, it's your uh, name. Ah, okay. <coughs> it means my kindred will not get lost or my lineage will not go ah, lost. Amazing. Ah, amazing. So I decided to use it for that song. Ah, dope. dope and someone dope, said dope. we say hi. I'm trying to look for that. I think for that uh, comment. Yeah, I'm trying to get their name, but you have that though. Uh, something. He's is it bad, bad boy Jeff? Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I think so. Bad boy. Yeah, but when he said like uh, we say hi to you, so. Salamu zimefika, mm -hmm. just in case, you, we <laughs> said hi. All right, so where can people connect with you on socials? Uh, it's Loli B, mm -hmm. L-O-L-O-I-B-E-E -E on Insta, mm -hmm. YouTube, any platform, just any Loli platform. B. Right, and your music? Spotify, Amazon, everywhere. everywhere. Apple, same, same name. Yeah. Lolly B everywhere. Yeah. All right, of course, thank you so much for making time to come through. I'll give you this time to, if you have any last remarks or if you have any shout outs, use this camera and do that. Uh, Peter Chin, you know, I'm going yeah. <laughs> I always rep Umoja. Hey, man, I'm telling you. Umoja, what's about Umoja? Shout uh, out to Umoja. Man. Shout out to Chef yeah. Ali, mm -hmm. Najib. Mm -hmm. The whole squad, you know, you know the vibe. <laughs> Shout out to the whole team. Yeah. Uh, it's a privilege to have you guys in my life making this happen. So, and shout out to DJ Epic. Epic. Shout out, hey. shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> well, you guys have the same teeth, though. <laughs> kinda. Okay, kinda. 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 Him is gone ham. Yeah. Let me go to Toscana. Let me go Please don't do this. Please, please, okay? Yeah. Uh, I just like, I like my teeth the way they are, but I feel uh -huh. like if I hang with you guys long enough, I'm soon. <laughs> the anyway, you have anyway, to keep it shiny. is nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, thank you. His name is Lolly B. Make sure you go check him out. He has an amazing EP. Miss Kia, what he can do is super, super amazing. And of course, mad love to you. Thank you so much for stopping by.